Rockford Fosgate, The Punch, 8 inch uh, woofers from the mid 80s. These were from uh, 1986. This one here is an 8 ohm version. This one is a 4 ohm. I'm going to be using the 4 ohm uh, stick through it and see what it sounds like. But I wanted to show you what these look like. These were refoamed a little while back. So the foams are brand new. And they've been in storage for uh, the rest of the time. This is the back side of the woofer. As you can see there, the Rockford Fosgate logo is the earlier um, version that has like a what sort of look like fangs. Well, the letters here. Model SP88. Um, 8 inch, 8 ohm. It says right there, 8 ohm. So basically the uh, the other one, they came in two versions, uh, this 8 ohm version and the 4 ohm. You can see made in the US. Frequency response is 50 hertz to 500 hertz. Uh, they handle 100 watts RMS. They do a little bit more. Um, they can handle up to like maybe one, 140, 150. And I'm going to be using a Alpha Sonic FA 100C. It's a 50 watts times two, and bridge that does around the same as the what's required for this sub right here, which is right around like 140, 150. Uh, bridged uh, mono. This amplifier is from the early 90s. It's from 1993. This is the clear top version. That's what the C stands for. And um, they don't cut it. This particular amplifier didn't come with the crop built in crossover. So, so I'm using the FEX3, as you can see right next to it. Just gonna finish connecting everything and then I'm gonna run some uh I'm gonna play some music, see what it sounds like. And that's what the crossover looks like. There's the amp, uh the power supply is on, the amplifier is on, and if you see the LED is on. So There you have it. Still puts out pretty good, pretty good amount of bass. Although it won't go as low as a subwoofer, these uh, woofers do a pretty good job. I mean, you can get a little bit of kick out of these right here, especially if you run a pair. I mean, I would 
go with a 2 8 ohm let me drop it to 4 ohms and, or a pair of 4 ohms so you can get, uh, drop it down to about maybe 2 ohms um, and get the max out of your amplifier but um, even if you had only one of these right here back in the day and one of the like a hatchback uh, I'm sure you got a little bit of kick pretty good you know for a little 8 inch sub they sound pretty good so um okay thanks again for watching